Hello, Salem UCC. What a gift it is to finally be connected with you. My name is Reverend Alexis Fuller Wright. I really hope you'll call me Alexis. And gosh, what a joy it has been to get to know your transition team. They have introduced me to a church that is vibrant and alive, that is connected to their community and invested in justice and committed to the work of tending to one another's hearts and souls. I am so looking forward to being on a journey with each of you, a journey of discernment, of listening for how the Spirit is calling this particular church forward in this particular time. Now that is something that is going to take a lot of prayer. I love to light candles, do you? Sometimes I like to light them because they remind me of the story of the ancient Israelites as they were leaving Egypt for the Promised Land. It took them 40 years to journey. If you ever think this transition is taking a long time, just remember that. 40 years of wandering through the wilderness. But God sent pillars of fire and smoke to help lead the way. And when they would see those pillars of fire and smoke, they would know that God was calling them forward in a particular way. And they knew if they went where that fire went, that they were finding exactly what it was that God was calling them into. It was really a promise. And when the fire and the smoke wasn't present, what God would send instead was manna and quail. God always met their needs. And we live in a time of so much scarcity and so much fear. It's important for all of us to remember that God is still leading, that we can trust where it is the Spirit follows, and that God hasn't forgotten the recipe for manna, that our needs will be provided for if we faithfully follow where it is that God is leading. I look forward to walking alongside you and listening and discerning and taking bold and brave steps if that's what God is calling this community to do. And this is a time for boldness. So my hope and my trust is that together we will do this faithful work and that where we end up, whether it's surprising or not, will be astonishingly beautiful and exciting. Speaking of journeys, I live in coastal Maine. I love to go for walks with my children. And one of the things we like to look for is sea glass. And we pick it up and we collect it together. If you haven't seen sea glass before, it is regular glass that has been tossed and blown through the ocean and over time is refined into these soft, beautiful, luminous stones. It's a real image of renewal and a reminder of how God takes the broken parts of our world and transforms them into something beautiful and healing and life-giving. And I trust that promise continues to be true today. It is a promise that really anchors my ministry. It is the belief that God continues to make beautiful what has been broken or hurt or scarred. Together, we will engage in the work of being agents of God's transformation in the world. Aha. When I arrive, friends, one of my deepest hopes is that you might join me for a cup of coffee or tea or beverage of your choice and that you'll share your stories with me. Your stories of hope, your stories of fear. You'll let me know what it is that you are longing for and what it is that's keeping you up at night. And I look forward to learning how your story weaves into the sacred story that we are all part of as followers of God's creation, 
a still speaking God that did not finish speaking in the book of Revelation, but continues to be known through our lives and our work today. And friends, I look forward to you getting to know my family, my wife, Liz, my kids, Nora and Will. Nora is an artist. Nora is seven. And Nora loves to weave necklaces like this. He has been doing this kind of weaving and artistic creation pretty much since he learned how to use his fingers. Now you'll notice that I use he for Nora. Nora has been identifying as a boy since he was about three years old. And part of my work as a faith leader in the world today is trying to help create and cultivate communities that are extravagantly loving and welcoming and supportive of all God's creatures, exactly how they were made to be, that we celebrate the wholeness of each and every individual. I wish I were with you this week as you move through the pride season and your pride celebration. Trust that I will be with you next year and that we will continue to show the wider community and the wider world how big and bold and beautiful God's love is for each human being and the way that we get to know a piece of who God is through each and every person and their expressions of love and life and identity. You know, I also love this necklace because it reminds me to be a little bit playful and flexible. It reminds me that when the spirit hovered over the waters, it was actually the spirit of creativity that helped emerge the helped life emerge out of that chaos and into something beautiful. You know, this is a time in the world that calls for incredible creativity because the answers that we are looking for are not already known. If they had found had been found, we would have solved the world's problems right now. So we need not just vision, but creativity and a spirit of playfulness to imagine what has not been imagined yet, to imagine how God might be at work in this community, in this time, through this particular faith church community. Friends, I am so excited to be with you in a little under three months. Come September 20th, I will be found in your church office and then hopefully out in your, your town streets and in the community, getting to know you and your neighbors, getting to know your leaders and learning how it is that we might all respond together to God's call in this time. I like to lead with a lot of listening. I trust that if I can hear the stories and know the stories and reflect those stories back, that together we can listen for what God is saying and inviting us into. And then together we do the work. So friends, I hope that you will pray for me in this time of transition as I am praying for you in this time of transition. And just know that in a few short months, there is some incredible work ahead of us. And I have every faith that we have exactly what we need to meet the challenge ahead. I hope you'll join me. See you all soon. Take good care. Bye-bye.